Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CVPNet's video series on data structure and this video we will see how to print binary tree level by level. Meaning first I'll print 10 and then 8 and 5 and then 3, 11 and 9. So before this video we saw how to print like first this one, then this one and then this one. But all these things were in single line like this 8, I mean 10, 8, 5, 3, 11 and 9. But now I want like this, meaning you should know the levels here. This video is sponsored by C++ Builder, a full featured C++ IDE for building Windows applications quickly. Our customers deliver apps to market 5 times faster using C++ Builder than with other IDEs. That's because of our rich visual frameworks and expensive libraries. Prototyping, developing and shipping are very easy with C++ Builder. C++ Builder integrates with continuous build configuration using MS Build and CMake and has HTTP and REST client library on all platforms to invoke REST services and search specific AWS and Azure components. Link is given in the description field. So there are different ways. First way is we can have two queues and using two queue technique we can actually achieve this. So it goes like this. First you will fill this queue and whenever you will encounter any child when you are processing this queue you will put that child here. I'll tell you what I mean. So let's put this 10 here because this is the root. So this is the initial state. Now you will check whether this queue is empty. No, it is not. Then you will push, I mean pop this 10 and let's print it. And after that you will see, is there any left and right child? Yes, there is. So first you will put 8 and then 5 in this one and we'll remove this. Now we'll again check, is this empty? Yes, it is. Then in that case, we will hit enter here when we are printing and we'll go to this queue. Now let's process this one. We'll take out this 8 and print. Remember, we had entered. Okay, we'll remove this 8 from here. But as I said, you have to check, does it have left and right? And if it has, then we'll push here. So it has the left, so we'll push this left here. Now we'll check whether this queue is empty. No, it is not because 5 is there. So we'll process 5. So we'll remove that 5 from here and we'll check, does it have any left or right child? Yes, it has. Then we'll push 11 and 9 in this. And now we'll check. Is this empty? Yes, it is empty. Then we'll hit enter and we'll go here now. We'll process this 3. And remember, we had enter because this queue was empty. And then we'll process this 3. We'll see, does it have any left or right? But it doesn't. So we'll just leave as it is. Same for 11. We'll print. It doesn't have anything. And same goes for 9 like this. So see, you have successfully printed label by label. So this was one of the technique. There is one queue technique. Let's see that. So one queue technique goes like this. We will have 10 as it is and then only we'll start. So we'll have one element and after that we will have a null pointer or null. Okay. So let's start. We'll process 10. Does 10 have any left or right? Yes, it has. Then we'll push this 8 and 5 like this. So we will process meaning like this, we'll print it and we'll remove, we'll go to next one. If we encounter any null pointer, what we'll do, we'll hit enter here. Meaning now we'll start printing from new line and we will move this new line in the end of this queue. So it would start looking like this. Okay, now this N is in the bottom. Now let's process, process this 8. So we have processed it, meaning we have printed it. Does it have any left or right? Yes, it has. It has only left. So we'll put that. We'll go for next one. We'll process this five, meaning we'll just print it and we'll, we'll see that. Okay. It, does it have any left or right? Yes, it has. Then we'll put 11 and nine and then we'll go to next. We'll encounter this null pointer. Then we will hit enter here and we'll push this null here. Okay. This is removed. Now process this three because we had enter. We'll pr print next here three. 11 and 9 because they don't have any children's so we'll just process them and the moment we'll reach here we'll hit enter we'll come to this line and we'll remove this but whenever you are removing this null pointer you have to check whether after removing this null pointer if this queue is empty then you will exit out if this queue is not empty then you will push this next in the rear of this queue okay so this is another technique. So let's look at the code for first technique. And this is the code. This is the function 
level by level printing will first enter with this root which is 10 and we'll check if root is equal to null or it doesn't exist we'll just return from here otherwise we'll create two queues i said right we'll maintain q1 and q2 and we'll just simply push this root inside this q1 and we have this outer while loop which will check either of this queue is having element then it will go inside this so it will go inside because this q1 is not empty and then this is for q1 and this is for q2 okay so q1 is like we'll check if q1 is not empty then in that case we'll take one element out of it we will print it and then we'll just remove that element from that and we have to check that whatever we removed root does it have left or right if it has then we'll push that left and right in the queue don't forget to put this left in the beginning and right in the next otherwise the order will not match and you will do continuously this process so you remember we had this two queue and we were processing these elements and whatever the left and right childs we were getting for these elements we used to push in this right so that's what i'm doing i'm processing this q1 and pushing everything into q2 and similarly after completing this q1 meaning if this is empty so i will come out of this loop i'll just have a next line and then i will start processing this q2 and the same process goes i will take out from front will just simply print it and then i will remove that node from that q2 and i'll push into q1 so i will use this vice versa until unless i have completed printing each and every level it was easy right yeah thanks for watching guys bye bye take care